Hey everybody, it's Planner Colleen. So I am here today with my September Happy Scrappy subscription. It came in today and it's now October, so I have made the executive decision to upgrade my shipping to FedEx. I just find that because I'm so far away from where Happy Scrappy is based, that it just takes forever to come for it to come in with the generic postage so i think it's only like 13 us dollars so it's not that expensive for the upgrade so um i've left it a couple of months to try and suss it out because my first order came in so quick with the generic so for me anyway in ireland it is definitely worth my while to upgrade my shipping to the fedex so i'm going to jump right in this month i upgraded to the A6 rings, or I changed my subscription even to the A6 rings. I used to get the pocket rings, but I have recently been using my Aura Stell A6 more so, and I have loads of pocket inserts, so that's why I made the decision to change. So it doesn't affect the price or anything, it's your own choice when you do subscribe, if you get the generic with inserts, what type of inserts you get. So you, so you have a choice between various sizes in the rings and you've a choice of various sizes in TN so when you get the rings inserts in they won't be punched so I'd advise you if you are thinking of subscribing and getting the inserts to get yourself one of these trusty Rapsco hole punches I got mine on Amazon and um, it's the six hole punch and it can punch anything from mini up to a five Pink. I've definitely used this for A5 inserts anyway, but um, it's fantastic and it can punch multiple pages at any one time. So we're going to jump right in. I've seen so many people online receiving these like weeks before me. And I think the reason is, is because she has a male fairy as she calls her, I think in America. So she posts all the kits to her and then she posts them out from her base in America. So American subscribers, I, as far as I know, do get them a lot quicker than worldwide. So as always, you get the most beautiful cardboard envelope containing your goodies. And it says down here, cuddles in a package. I love the clouds and just the highest quality as always with the holographic silver. And then on the back, you have the Boba Tea sticker sealing it shot and all the goodies inside. Um, I noticed on her Instagram recently that Sam was saying that she has had to change the design of her um, card envelopes because her kits are getting so big that she's struggling to fit everything in and I think that's just an example of her generosity to be honest with you. She is without a shadow of a doubt the most valuable subscription kit that I found online um, I've never ever ever been disappointed her designs are just so beautiful that's why I love following her on Instagram because you get your sneak peeks before the kit even launches um, and you also get your digital freebies online so as you can see I have the pen that came with the September subscription I think it was white and peach were the pen colors so it's at random you don't get to choose so i got the peach one and at the top there's always like a wax seal on it because it is a gel pen so you just need to pick that off before your pen will work it's an mg 0.5 millimeter gel pen and on the size here it says just peach and I'm just going to use my van sticky post-its just to see how it writes um, it's really really nice to write with it's a little bit faster than the Muji pens it's it's definitely a gel pen, but it's not, um, it doesn't, it's very, how can I describe it? It's 
it's very easy to write with there's a lovely flow of the ink as it does come out and um, I find it would probably more be more suited to joint writing um, as opposed to block writing yeah it definitely suits Yeah, it definitely suits um, my style of joint writing better than it does my block writing. Um, I, it's just, it's a very light pen to write with, if that makes sense. And the flow of ink is consistent throughout. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite pens that's come with the kits. I got a white one similar to this. I think it was in the August subscription that I love and I'm using at the moment with my pocket setup but this is very, very similar. It's that little bit longer as well. Um, and I love the clear detailing on it. And I love a pen that has a clip on the side because it can attach to any planner then very simply. And the amount of little extras that came this month, again, as always was fantastic. First up is the little pockets. So. You have a small foil detailing pocket, you have a medium foil detailing pocket again, and you have a side pocket. I love this little hamster, he's so cute. So this little side pocket I think is perfectly sized if you are a Hobo Weeks planner. Um, otherwise, like I'd say this medium one would fit as well, and the small one is quite really really small it's only around two and a half inches wide but um, I love it it's really cute I think that would be used in my pocket and then I'm definitely going to use this side pocket in my A6 rings and you have like this is a lovely little journaling card as well if you wanted to just trim the top so that will definitely be used I think it says a lot about a shop when you can use their packaging in your planner itself it's definitely something that I appreciate from a shop when they put this much effort into their branding and into their merchandising because it's like an extra little freebie with your order when you can use the packaging in your planners. And this month's pin, she has changed to magnetic pins recently, which is super handy because you can use them on your planner without damaging the leather gonna open this up so as you can see it's a beautiful gold little headshot pin with like a shimmer purple it's so so cute and it's quite significantly sized if you look it's it's around it's just over an inch in length and I'd say the same in the diameter Absolutely love it. And this is a new addition to her subscription box. It's her plastic pocket. Now I was absolutely thrilled to see this being added to the subscription for this month because I had been looking for a Lit Lab documents holder. They have super cute ones in Japan and Malaysia of like little twin stars and hello kitty but unfortunately the lit lab europe shop is very generic everything's plain so i couldn't get my hands on one and i genuinely searched the internet for them so when i saw that sam was doing these lovely little folders i was absolutely thrilled the quality is spectacular as always and their little side pockets. And then you have the little Happy Scrappy logo at the bottom in holo and the front is foiled as well. Absolutely love it. Now moving on to the important stuff, the stickers. So you get two sheets of days and headers 
and this month you have the plaid background with like a rose gold for the days so there's six weeks worth of days in it so what I usually do is I'll probably use four weeks for each month and I'll save the others for maybe next year for another date so like you will definitely get more than a month out of the stickers that come with this subscription and then you have half boxes and four habit trackers down the bottom you have the date stickers which are like little pumpkin spice lattes I think and then you have the cute little emoji pumpkins down the bottom I absolutely love these um I love this guy because he just has a little face of devilment on him and of course side eye Sam loves a character with a side eye as do I it's just got so much attitude I love it and then you get a sheet of what I call mini washies and then you have the weekend banners down the bottom again. I love the foiling that was used for the September subscription. It's like a really cute pinky peach foil. I absolutely love it. And even up the top, this little fox, I think he is a sticker. Yep. He's a little sticker as well. And I'm actually, I'm just gonna go back. Yeah, the two little hamsters at the top are stickers on the days and the two little mushrooms up the top here are stickers as well and then you have note full boxes and note baby boxes and then you have the tabs so you have both hamster and pumpkin tabs but if you already have a tab set up in your planner then all you have to do is snip it here and you can use these as element stickers as well And then you have your list stickers. I love these little mushrooms. I haven't seen these in any of the sneak peeks. I'm only seeing them now. Um, they're so, so cute. So you have the two guinea pigs up the top and you have three guinea pigs and then you have the different colors in the hedgehogs. So you have blue, pink, gray, purple and like a mauvey pink color as well. And then you get a sheet of element stickers as well. So here you have the cute little pumpkin spice latte holding the pumpkin. And then you have the pumpkin holding the pumpkin spice latte. Oh my God, that is a serious tongue twister. <laughs> and then as you go through, you can see the little hedgehogs have fall elements on their backs, which is again, adorable. And you have the little hedgehog holding the pumpkin, the foxes, and the cute little guinea pigs down the bottom again and you have the clear stickers i haven't used these yet in any of my setups so i'm going to try and figure out this weekend how i can incorporate using these in my planner now the exciting stuff so in addition to everything i've shown you already you get a paper pack which contains the papers that come with the subscription and you, if you do sign up to the generic kit with inserts, your inserts will be in this packet as well. So you have dashboards and then the inserts themselves. Oh, these are super cute, I love the color. So you have four sheets of color dock grid and then you have and then you have 16 sheets of black and white but you do have cute little characters down in the corners so I actually like colouring them in in my setup. So you have all the characters that were featured in this month's subscription. You have the fox, you have the pumpkin spice latte. Then you have the pumpkin spice latte and the little guinea pig. 
I love these and I do love a dot grid as well. I just find them really functional when I'm using them in my planner. So I am thrilled with them. Now you don't have to laminate the dashboards that come with your inserts. I personally do because it just keeps them clean and they're easier to maneuver in the planner then. And then you get two sheets of large element stickers. I tend to use one of them and save the other. I usually put it in my sticker book. Um, simply because I'm a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to my planning stuff and my biggest problem is when I buy super cute things I don't want to use them because they're so cute but that is going to have to stop because it's just a little bit crazy buying stuff and not using them and then you get one full sheet of full boxes and half boxes so if you are an Erin Condren user or a Happy Planner user, I'd suggest that you buy the generic kit without inserts and it's the same price and everything but you get, I think it's two extra sheets of the deco full boxes which um, I'm contemplating upgrading because I have recently bought an Erin Condren planner but at the moment I'm happy with what I have so I'm going to stick with this subscription. And now my favorite part as always is the papers that come with the Happy Scrappy subscription. So again, you have the most beautiful, it's like a pinky purple holofoil on the front and then you have the plaid on the back. So you get two sheets of everything. So what I usually do is I'll use one for myself and I'll send the other to my auntie who is also a planner lady. And then you get two sheets of vellum so so these two were the same but the vellum have different prints on it so you have the pumpkin spice latte and the pumpkin and then you have the fox and the hedgehog and the pumpkin and the little mushroom I love this one it's my favorite and then you get two sheets again of, um, it's, a, it's different to the first one that I showed you. It's actually the full version of this, is it? Yeah, it's, so this vellum basically is the same print as this card stock. So you have that amazing foil again and the same plaid on the inside. So guys, that's everything from the September Happy Scrappy subscription. Um, I'm gonna spend my weekend playing. I have a rare weekend off work, so I am so, so happy with that. Another thing that I wanted to show you was an order I got from Little Miss Daisy Rose. This is my second order from her shop on Etsy. And as always, I am ecstatically happy with everything that comes in her attention to detail the quality is just phenomenal so I got this gorgeous pink wand and I got a three clip set with today to do and notes and then I got a little nap queen the Crayola crayons and I got this gorgeous shimmering pumpkin and then this little girl I absolutely love it so they obviously don't come like this I just put them on this for display purposes but you guys should definitely check out her shop it's one of my favorites I've been doing a lot of work on my own shop recently when I set up the shop I decided to do it because I wanted to put stuff in it that I had made for myself and that I thought other people would like so basically anything you see in my shop is something that I've made for myself to use in my planner and I have just added it to the shop if you see anything you like in my flip throughs I'll always tell you where it's from the majority of items in my planners are from other shops however there is occasionally things in my planners that I have made for myself so when I bought my Erin Condren, I was still waiting for my Happy Scrappy order to come in. So I went ahead and made my own stickers for my Erin Condren. So what I'm showing you now is stuff that I've made and used myself in my own planners. And I always list them in the shop afterwards. 
so I'm not doing this as a career or anything like that I'm just showing you what I have made for my own planner and if you do like them then they are available in the planner Colleen Etsy shop so I'm just going to jump in so I have the day boxes which have the little pumpkin house in the background and then the transparent circle over it so you can write the dates in yourself and then I have the full boxes which have this cute little I don't know is he like a pig or a little boar and this little cute little lady mouse and this handsome devil of a pumpkin and I love this little pumpkin house it's possibly my favorite sticker like for Halloween setups this year I absolutely love it and then I have the half boxes and then I have an element sheet. So what I tend to do when I set up my planner, I'll start with the biggest item for my air and conjunct, which is going to be your full boxes. Then I'll work my way down to half boxes and then I'll fill up with element stickers. So I also print all of my stickers on premium matte paper. I have spent a long long time trying to find the perfect paper for my stickers um, not only for my use but if I'm selling a product to someone I want it to be the best when it's just for me I honestly don't mind on the quality of sticker that I use but if I'm buying a product from someone online I want it to be really really good so I try and hold the same values for my shop that I would expect from any other shop as well and then every month I always make a little month at a glance card. So if you do like any of these, I have listed them in my shop. And as I said, they are printed on premium matte paper. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. And of course, subscribe. As always, I will have a lot more coming to the channel over the next couple of weeks. Bye.